Hello and welcome everybody. Right, okay, this is very exciting. It is cloud retainer time. So I'm gonna spend some wishes. It would also be nice to get some copies of Garming as well, actually. And let's go. Let's see what we get. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Actually, I wanted some Chevra's uh, constellations. I wasn't expecting to just randomly get one. And I got Garming, so that's awesome. That's a good start. We like that. Let's uh, go again. Okay. Farazan already got her at C6. Great character if you can get her to C6. Less useful before that. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Favonius Warbo, always handy, especially for Farazan. Another Garmin! This is going quite well so far. Uh oh, probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get it early. We're we gonna get it early? We're not getting it early yet. I've got C2 on him now. And what have we got here? Okay, we're getting to the point where, yep, I had a feeling that would happen. So it's a little bit early. We're a little bit early on this. That's good. Another Garming. Amazing. Yay! Cool. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what I can do with this quite interesting character. Now, with the arrival of Cloud Retainer, you, you do have the ability to make any character into a plunge attacker. And quite interestingly, D. Luke actually has the uh, highest plunge attack multiplier. Right, now the question is, I've got 34 wishes left. Do we want to see if we can grab uh, another Garming? You know what, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I, would, I wouldn't mind see one of Cloud Retainer. It's just an extra skill usage, but I actually quite like that sort of thing, so. Oh. <laughs> so I actually do want his his um his C6 now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool. I like her uh, animations. Actually, I like her normal attack animations. It's a shame I'm probably not going to use them that much. Right, let's Give her some artifacts. VV set, I think that's the, probably the best idea. And I actually did pre-select a few items. Good old Kaya's been keeping them warm for us. So, there's my four piece VV set. Right off the bat, we've got quite a lot of extra crit rate and a smattering of crit damage and a reasonable amount of energy recharge. So that's where we stand at the moment. And the reason why I've gone for that is so we've got attack, attack, attack. These are not awful pieces actually. We'll see how they roll, but you know, so far so good on these. Could do more crit damage, but hey ho. But the reason why I wanted a decent amount of crit rate is because I think I'm probably going to use her with, um, yeah, Favonius Codex. I actually probably should have done the, um, uh, the the test run. I always forget to do that before I wish on a character, and, and really that's not sensible. You would be much better off in life not doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. And now I should be able to do her first ascension. Need to go find some more of those, what are they called? Clear water jades, yeah. So it always annoys me when you can't pre-farm for a character. This is the, the Ching Yu Vale area of Li Wei. And as you can see, it is now available. Oh look, they put a little teleporter right there, which I guess is there for people that have not unlocked. Not sure why it's there, to be honest. Uh, anyway, we're going to explore that because I want to find as many Clearwater Jades as I possibly can today and level up Cloud Retainer to the highest possible level. 
That is the goal. Let's just see if we can get ourselves a copy, another copy of Garmin. One final attempt. Oh. Okay, got five star. Ah. Yay, C6 coming. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I'm going to obviously be doing a video about Garmin because um, that's pretty cool. C6, like it. I have heard that her C1 is not that useful, although I do tend to like the C1s that come with an extra charge, the constellations that give you an extra charge of your skill. I'm usually quite a big fan of that, so let's just see how that works. Right, Garming is not built, and we don't want to do a video about him yet, so we will come to that in the next post. So this is not a team I recommend, and it is probably not even a team that will work, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, this is quite good fun. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. This is awesome. So, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is... wasn't expecting this. Err... Uh, how, how do I get these things out? Ah, like that. So when it comes to finding the materials, the internet is your friend. This thing, I know roughly where it is because I've looked, and this thing, Tavat Interactive Map. Actually, both of these, Tavat Interactive Map, it's the way to go. I really want to get her up to this ascension level so that I can unlock her A4 passive, which is where a large part of her kit resides. Here, you see, it's, it's what really increases the plunge damage and, you know, makes her properly functional. So I need to just whip round now and pick up basically all of those clear water jades. So I have located the, uh, the Ascension boss person for Cloud Retainer. I've also unlocked the map and this is not the team that I will be using. Pretty boss. Almost seems a shame to do away with it so quickly. Cool, now I can get back here nice and easily. There should be on the far side of this cave some of the clear water jades that I need. Uh, let's see if we can canvas these. Right, now we should be in a position where we can do this. So we're halfway. Okay, I need lots more of these. So I need another, oh God, I need another 50. I bet there aren't gonna be enough. That's usually the way it goes. You actually can't quite get to Ascension 4 in one go without going to another world. Luckily, I think I can visit my free to play accounts world. Let's have a quick look at her artifacts, see if we can do something useful with them. All right, she heals based on her attack. Oh, actually, ah. Uh, it's going to be one of those, isn't it? So, all right, I'll do this first. And then we're going to have to go and do that. Uh, that domain is a Wednesday domain, so luckily we can get right on with that. Yay, crit rate. That's good, because it'll help with her Favonius Codex. Okay, so we've got a 1 in 3 chance of critting, 180 energy recharge. And there's a little bit more we could get out of the Favonius Codex as well. So, yeah, we've we've made good progress so far. And her attack is, ooh, 1400. I have tried to go for pieces that include some Elemental Mastery, because Elemental Mastery is going to help with her swirls. It also scales on her level, and she's a 40 at the moment, so it won't do anything yet. Right 
Oh, that's not fair, is it? Well, not again. Wanted. <laughs> I think we will pick this up again when I have finished leveling her with an actual team that hopefully will work. I have been to my free-to-play world now and I have successfully found the clear water jades that I need. And just like that, we've got her up to Ascension level four, unlocking her A4 passive, which will give a enormous attack buff to plunge damage when she's using her burst or when, when characters are affected by her burst. So that's great. That means that hopefully we will actually be able to make proper use of her now. Let's have a go with Diluc. Diluc has the highest plunge damage in the game, 325 and he's only a level six with his talent. So yeah, uh, I would upgrade the talent more, but I'd have to ascend him, which means I have to do the Pyro Regis fine like five times, five or six times. And I did have him with this Gladiator set, which I haven't leveled, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna try out the fast equip, which I've never actually done before. So we're gonna do custom configuration. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I want actually, which I had already set up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, attack percent, pyro damage, crit damage. Marashu say Hunter because he's gonna be in a team with Farina and I want to prioritize crit rate, crit damage. So the crit rate's gonna be pretty healthy, especially when you add the 32% that you get from Marashu say Hunter. Is it 32? It's 36 actually, I think. So yeah, that's that's going to be pretty nifty. We're going to need to level up the Pyro Damage Goblet very definitely and the Crit Damage Circlet very definitely. So we will do the best we can with that and we will equip these now. Weapons wise, we're going to swap that for the Serpent Spine. 36 plus that is going to be 90. Oh, we're over capped on crit. Let's see what the fourth one is on there. Of course it's crit rate. Of course it is. If I just dive into the old teapot, I think I've got enough realm currency to buy some uh, artifact experience unction. Yep, fine. Ooh, times five, nice. Energy recharge, boom. There we go. Oh, times five again. Wow, I tell you what, that actually didn't turn out too bad, that pyro damage goblet, actually. It didn't roll into HP even once, and we've got you know, some crit rate that we don't need. Let's go to the four robots. That's always a good test of whether you've got serious damage or not. By the way, I do like uh, Cloud Retainer's getting around the map ability. She's, oh, I need these for, for Garming, and I don't know if I've got enough of them, so I should probably pick these up as I go past. I have no idea how this team is going to work or if it's going to work, but we're just going to give it a go and see how we go with it. Solidify. I will have you guys want to just um, stop moving for me, please, for a second? Thank you. Okay, I don't know how that happened or why it worked, but it did work. Just absolutely annihilated those things.
you can dash cancel with the uh, Claymore characters, but uh, but I, it's difficult to do with a controller on the, on the PlayStation without sort of finding yourself going somewhere you don't want to. Anyway, yeah, cool. I am pleasantly surprised by that one. It's nice to actually be able to have, do, you know, dilute, do something useful because I've had them on my account for a while now. This could get a bit squirrely though because um, I'm not, I don't have any kind of damage reduction. Oh, Benny's best so far. Ah, oh, one shotted. Again, one shotted. Okay, you see, this is why I like having. This is why I like having uh, a defensive utility on the team, a proper one. I'm one of these players that likes to not have to do too much dodging, I think is the way I'd put it, without any kind of proper shield. I do feel like the dodge requirement is quite high on this team. The good news is, if you put Zhongli on the team, you do not have to dodge anything like as much. It is a much tankier team. I think putting Zhongli on there is a good idea. I do, it's one of the things I do like about this game, the way a lot of unused characters end up actually being given a second lease of life by the introduction of other new characters. Nice. Yeah, the, I'm a big fan. Big fan of the animations. I, I like the way she works as well. Her kit is interesting and different and none of this has been leveled up properly at all I've just realized so the healing in particular could be significantly improved none of this stuff will it'll increase the damage that she does but it won't increase the buff to the plunge attacks that she gives oh I forgot to mention her exploration passive is that she will increase the gliding speed by 15% so that's cool I bet she will work very well with Garming and I am definitely going to be trying that out as a replacement for Good old Deluke here, who actually, it was surprisingly serviceable for a level 60 character. So let's just talk briefly about uh, Xiang Yung's build. I've got her with Favonius Codex, but there are many better weapons. If you were around for the event where you got the Oathsworn Eye, then that would in fact be her best sort of free to play option. But it was an old event. Lots of people, including myself, do not have it. So Favonius is not strictly speaking necessary an attack based weapon that will help boost up her attack some more is probably a good idea and i will probably give that a go maybe something like flowing purity the uh, the craftable from fontaine possibly so there are there are different things different options obviously her best in slot is her five star signature weapon as it usually is artifacts wise you almost always want to go for vv but it is possible to use the new healer set. That's actually, it is a good set for her. It's just that that would probably be only worth it if you were using her on a team, like say with Zhao and uh, Farazan, because it's not really a reaction team. It's just pure elemental damage that you're trying to boost up. Yeah, Songs of Days Past, that's what it's called. And they do have a fair number of them. Not going to go there because for me, I'm almost certainly going to be using her with either Deluke or Garming and it's going to be a, a vaporized team. So therefore I'm going to be wanting that VV shred, of course. Constellation wise, C1's not really that useful. It's okay for exploration. It'll help you sort of cover the map a bit quicker because you get that extra charge, but it isn't strictly speaking necessary and you probably will struggle to fit two of her skill usages into one rotation because it's a 12 second cooldown. So two of them will be 24 seconds. C2 is very handy. It basically 
doubles her plunge buff. So that is a really good one for her. And then you've got the sort of the standard affair here. This one will give some healing on the use of her skill. So that's pretty cool. C4 would be pretty cool. And C6 will help her to be more of a, an on-field plunge attack damager. But I mean, the, the high constellations on yeah, on five stars is, is very much kind of whale territory, I feel. Usually, maybe up to C2 is worth it. Beyond that, it gets a bit gets a bit ridiculous on the sheer number of wishes required. Okay. Oh, talents wise, you want to start with her burst, then her skill, then her normals. That's normally the way you're going to do it, unless you're going to use her as an on-fielder, in which case you will want to level up the normals as well, because that's where the plunge damage is. And I think that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in the next video when we will be going over Garming and his kit. And hopefully he will work very well with Cloud Retainer. All the indications are that he will. So that's what we'll be trying out. Take care and I hope you win all your 50-50s.